Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Chaotic Committee. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong base. Why don't you guys have any sand? Oh, why aren't... I think I got my priorities wrong. I think I changed someone's priority. Yeah, I got rid of. Mima's priorities need to be... All that. There we go. Now we'll get that delivered. Uh, this should be just about active. Very nice. Uh, I have been uh, dumping some stuff over just because I know I'm not going to use the. I said I wasn't going to use the teleporter too much, but while waiting for that to become active, I figured. What? Oh, because you're sitting in carbon dioxide. Well, we can fix that. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. And we'll move the oxalite down here, and then the oxalite will get rid of stuff. Wrong place. How much oxalate do I have? Yeah, we'll call that five thousand. Okay. And my rocket pilot found that planet. We've got the ice planet, right? Oh, and it's got a lush core. Okay. And we've got the gassy planet. So yeah, we're getting stuff done. I'm worried about their food running out, so they are heading back to reload. You're active. We need a dupe over here. All right, who do we want? Probably just gonna be Ruby again. And then we will defrost and see who we find. Ruby, come on down. And unzip your suit. First things first, we are gonna need some power. Yeah, and all sorts of fun stuff. This is aluminum ore, so it's gonna die due to uh, lots of issues. You can deconstruct. And let's, come here, defrost a friend. All right, who do we have? We have auto schedule. Auto, you come down here. Yep, yeah, and now they start with three skills, which is awesome. Auto is a, well, it's just fine. What are autos? Everything. Bio, auto, doctor and digging. Fantastic, that's actually a pretty decent dupe. And a care digger, caregiver. Uh, but they got a minus 15 on decor. Uh, ancient knowledge, that's what gives them the three. Oh, and immune, very nice. Well, you like digging, so we'll definitely give you that. And we'll give you all those. All right. And now that we have dupes, we can build that. trying to think of how I want to do this. The problem is everything is freaking cold. This has a nice source of heat. 
So why don't we take some radiant pipe? Yeah, okay. We're gonna take some radiant pipe. We're gonna make a uh, no power warming loop. That's also gonna run past the generators. So see, that's heat. Hmm. Probably gonna want it to go like this. Yeah, let's bring it up one. All right, let me think about this for a minute. Try to make the loop somewhat logical so we can get the most warmth out of it for free. I'm thinking something like that. I do it's going to be busy. Yeah, so now this loop will just kind of come through here. I'm just trying to keep the water from freezing in the pipes. Like, that's my main concern. How's my spacefaring dupe doing? They got three cycles. It's still not delivered? All right, let's up the priority. Well, you can't just copy that. And yeah, might as well put one right there, because why not? Do I not have any sand? Is that... I know, I've, I've been digging sand up. We've got 300 tons. Never mind. I was worried I might have been out of sand. The oil's filling up. We're, yeah, look at all that sand right there. We've got a full tank of petroleum. Ah, it's all looking good. How's the food? Up to 200,000 in barbecue. That's got to be, yep, pilot dupe. Yeah, like this stuff is coming out nice and warm, but everything around here is just so cold that it's cooling off immediately. But we've got two dupes over here. We've got plenty of excellent fruits, so... Excellent fruit, so the food's not going to go bad anytime soon. I need a water tank. That's what I need. Uh, I've got chlorine. I'm just trying to think of what I should do with the toilet water. Alright, well, let's let the dupes figure out how to build this stuff first, then we'll worry about cleaning the water. In fact, now that I have power, I'm going to put in... Uh, gas filter and some storage tanks and then I'll actually put in a heater underneath the bathroom. Uh, now we don't need anybody. Come on. What? Was there an oh there's another plant there. There we go. Oh, and a bunch of brine ice up there, but nothing about that's gonna fall down, so that should be fine. I just noticed the new rocket I'm building got named correctly, Rover XL. And that's exactly what it is. I'm gonna try to uh, land double rovers and see how the new rover update works and if they're good for settling a new base. Should be the gas filtering done. Actually, I suppose I can do this. Clean out all these pipes. I should have enough power stored up. That pipe actually looks good, so we'll leave that. There. Now all that should run backwards. Uh, 
and gets filtered out. Beautiful. I'm saying this is a source of heat, but it's still freaking cold in there. Yeah, then this pump should be sucking the stuff off the top. Very nice. Next is going to be some space heaters. Oh, because there's plants all over the place. One there. That's on ice. And yeah, screw it, we'll toss one in the middle. Stuff everywhere and automation. I need to get the pipes to not freeze before I get the bathroom working. Lots of construction to do, but now we've got plenty of natural gas stored up. Point eight of a cycle. Ooh, they're just gonna make it. Their food's down to like 9%. Nasty. I just want to get the bathrooms going. My rocket should be landing shortly over here. Why don't you have any fuel? Because I did not hook it up. Makes sense. And I should be able to grab enough oxalite out of the other rocket has ooh yeah i'm like i don't think i've done anything on the interior yet all right lots of work to do before that rocket gets to launch that won't be this episode for sure where are you you should be landing yeah five seconds off Oh, they, that bug is back. All right, Nisbet, you can get out of there. They're going to hang out here for a little bit. Lime. Let's dump that over here. Okay, they can now work on building that. They can load the oxalate from there into there. We'll refuel and then I'm going to fill this tank up with polluted water again. Yeah, two dupes are just so slow. Consider bringing a third dupe over there. How long till my recharge? Oh, it's already recharged. Nice. All right, who else is over here? What about Stinky? 
Researcher needs to stay. Cook needs to stay. Yeah, Stinky, you're going to head over there and help out. And unzip the suit. Yeah, see, Stinky's got uh, super athletics. So let's change Stinky's priorities. Stinky, your job is supplying... Yeah, you've already got tidying. Yeah, so he can run around and deliver all the raw material and then the other dudes can build. Oh, the building broken or oh you're starting to pump in there but i don't have the heat going yet so the pipe's already broken okay uh, and let's just deconstruct that pipe but we do have the first heater going Might have to put one over here. Can I fit one? Prop yeah, I can do this. Oh, the joys of starting up a cold base. just going to take a long time. That is what it is. Oh, that's coming along pretty good. We have the rovers yet? Not yet. That's a question. You become active. Oh, in two cycles? Yeah, we're good. So much stuff to keep track of in Spaced Out, that's for sure. Oh, I don't have any power over here. Don't know when this is going to become active, but I might as well start prepping for this because it is also uh, hot oxygen. Now you need to worry about the piping first. I just noticed this is ice. I thought this was brine ice. Oh, if that's ice. Yeah, this is getting tepidized. Heck, yeah. I can do... Just go straight up Tepidizer. And we're gonna need uh, one of these, but before that we need, where's the timer? Timer, timer, timer. Timer. completely overwrite my... Is there a good way of me getting in there? Probably just like this. I'm just trying to not 
dig up the ice so I don't lose all the mass. I have to turn off these space heaters, but that's fine. I can run the water pipe through this ice, and that will make a warm base. All right, so let's just set these if you are above. Need you to get fixed, and we want it on for two, off for eight. And then that should cycle it and melt the ice, and then I'll get a nice pool of water. Maybe. This would work better if I actually hooked the power wire all the way up. way up. I can do this. I mean, it's also going to have to warm up all the soil around it, but once it melts the water, that should go much easier. And it's not like I don't want to use the power to produce the water to produce more heat. I mean, look, this is almost up to negative 20. I set you faster. And let's do Couple of temp shift plates made out of ice. and the piping is almost done. I mean, that polluted water is slightly warmer than the base, so that's good. And I can extend that loop down into this tank once this turns into water. I'll just leave that there because I want to extend the pipe anyway. We don't have enough sand. Well, it seems like my dupes now get something to do, which is make sand. Refinement.
Yeah, I'm gonna be way over on power, but that's fine. How? They even said that they uh, fixed the entombment thing. This isn't supposed to happen. But this is the second time I've had a dupe entomb down there. No research. Am I done? Oh, nope, they added one. Oh, the space scanner is back. Nice. I did not see that in the notes, so we can now scan for meteors. Oh, I wonder if the enclosed telescope has a longer range. That'd be nice. All right, no entombing yourself. All right, come on, this has got to be close. Oh, seems like a good enough time just to have my other dupes digging away. Yeah, we're just gonna dig the whole thing. Screw it. That's brine ice. We got sand. We don't have a researcher. And we're about four degrees off the temp shift plates. There it goes. And it's still not submerged in water, but now there is liquid there, which means it should be transmitting heat quite a bit faster. Build a couple more temp shift plates. Once it's submerged in water, then it can run all the time. I just meant to unpause you, but it looks like that is all of my research. Nice work, dupes. And if that's the case, then up here, all of that doesn't need to happen anymore, and we can let those wither, and it will reduce the radiation. Ooh, that water's actually getting warm. Nice. All right, let's see if you're actually in water yet. Yep, perfect, as long as you are below 20. That might be going a little bit far temperature-wise. Let's get a couple more temp shift plates made out of ice. Try to melt that stuff above it. Now we've got some water. And I end up with some food poisoning in there because my dupes are dirty. <laughs> Hot and cold. I think we're going to call that good. We've got water. It's about to melt everything. I realize I'm getting long on time. I'm going to bring... 
typing in like that. I just want this ice to melt and then I can use that as a warming loop for the entire base. Yeah, once you get power, settling on a base becomes much easier. Ooh, my stress is up a bit. That's all right, that'll all get fixed with the bathrooms and some other stuff. Anyway, I hope you all just have a wonderful day. I'm gonna get the plumbing fixed up and then hopefully next time we'll be able to launch the uh, rover rocket.